Well, good morning everyone, Wednesday, uh, welcome to another Thought for the Day. And it's April, April the 1st, April Fool's Day. But the way to be wise and not foolish is to take time to be in God's Word. And that's what we're going to do now. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Life is full of anxiety right now. Anxiety about our health or the health of loved ones. Anxiety about our jobs, our finances. Anxiety about the schooling of our children. The Apostle Paul, who, remember, is writing from prison, does not deny the reality of anxieties. Instead, he tells us what to do with them. Paul says that we are to hand over our worries to God, leave them there. In other words, we're to pray. We're to pray in every situation. So whether your worries today are big or small, pray about them. So why not take time today to lay out your burdens one by one before our loving Heavenly Father? At the same time we pray, Paul says, with thanksgiving. Even in the darkest moments, there is much we can be thankful to God for. We can be thankful to God for the Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour, our risen Lord, our faithful friend. And when we pray, handing our worries over to God, the result is amazing. Paul says we get the peace of God. You see, the answer to our prayers will not always take us out of our problems and our heartaches. Instead, Paul says, our hearts, our minds will be guarded by the peace of God. We can keep on going with Jesus, secure and calm in his love. Isn't that a great swap? We give God our worries and he gives us his peace. So let's pray right now. Heavenly Father, you know the anxieties we have this morning. We hand them to you now and ask for your strength and help. Thank you for your constant loving presence. Help us to enjoy your peace today. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow.